Hello and welcome to Let's Learn Dota 2. My name is William and I am going to be giving you a very basic introductory lesson into Dota 2 and honestly just MOBAs in general. Now, when you're looking at Dota 2, I'm a complete and total noob at this game, but there are a few basic principles that's going to be easy to take in and learn. First off, start out practicing against the bots. Uh, don't jump right into a game with people. It's going to frustrate you. Most MOBA games, people are jerks. So that's always something to work out, uh, look out for. Um, you always have, like, you know, a generic starting build, but it doesn't hurt to research, you know, some champions before you start playing. It, it really is a daunt. they can be a daunting genre, because a lot of people just want to jump right in, and you can, but you might get your butt kicked, and then that's going to deter you from wanting to play again. So, um, let's go ahead and just head out to the lane so I can talk to you guys a little bit more. Now, <clears throat> when you're playing a game like Dota 2, and I just randomly grabbed Ancient Apparition, what your whole objective here is going to be is these are going to be the creep waves. Uh, every 30 seconds or so, another wave of creeps is going to spawn from your base, and they are going to constantly push out, and they're going to push towards the enemy's base. Your whole thing is y the creeps are your window into getting powerful you're going to use those creeps to level up your champion and i honestly don't know anything about ancient apparition which isn't great for me let's see here you know what just just grab whatever okay and now with with these creeps there's one thing that you should never ever ever do and the bots will teach you the bots will teach you this do not do not Okay, that didn't do anything. I should run. Do not auto-attack the creeps. Do not do it. That is one of the most hated things by people who know what they're doing in this game. Uh, the only time you should auto-attack the creeps is if you... Oh, he's dead. Is if you are trying to push your wave of minions to take down their tower. Any other time, you want to be fighting as close to your tower as you can be without being right underneath of it. And luckily, in this game, unlike in... Um, other MOBAs, you're going to be able to attack your own creeps when their health is below a certain amount. Actually, yeah, below a certain amount. So, <clears throat> and of course the way you're going to do that is you're going to hit A and then you're going to left cl click on your own creep. But all you're going to want to do is wait till their health gets real low like that and then, boop, that's all you want to do. You don't want to sit there and auto attack because see, right now if I had been auto attacking, our lanes may be pretty much even, but right now they're going to have to push back to my next creep wave, where it's I'm going to be closer to my tower, I'm going to be safer, it's going to be a lot easier for me to run away. When you play a champion, you're going to want to go through and figure out what every single skill is going to do for you. You want to have an idea, as you level up in this game, because as these creeps die, you're going to get experience. Uh, here's your experience bar, and you're going to level up, and you're going to want to have to decide which skills you want, in which order, and which ones you want to continue to level up. So, uh, as you can see, they go, can go up to level 4, after which you can get stat points. Well, you can get them before that, but uh, most of the time that's not the most greatly recommended thing, but especially if you're just starting out, so just don't worry about that right now. Your abilities are going to start out on QWER if you have just a basic 4, which they are champions that have more to that, champions that use DNF and different things, champions that learn abilities or will steal them. Uh, but that's nothing that you should be worrying about. You should be focusing on playing simple, easy champions that are easy to learn. Like, a Lion is a very, very easy champion. Um, Centaur, I believe. I, forget, I, don't even, I don't even know if he's actually just called Centaur, but he's a really easy champion to play. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, crap, what's his name? Venomancer, I believe? It's not this dude. Yeah, okay. That's Viper. Okay, Venomancer's pretty easy to play. Sven is easy to play. Witch Doctor is pretty easy to get into. So, there's Skeleton King. I think even Ventral Spirit's not that difficult. Now, say a big part of this game is knowing what your enemies can do. You're in a lane against Bane. You have no idea what Bane does. Click on Bane. Just look at his skills. You can see every single thing that he does, and you can learn all about it. You can see what items he has. So you can try to figure out what he's going to be doing. Now, when you're playing like Dota 2, it's very important. When you have a bunch of money, you don't have to go back to spend it. 
Say I just want to get all of this stuff. Oh, I grabbed a bunch of crap I didn't need. Um, anyway, is that going to drop all that on the ground? think so. Anyway, all you're going to do is um, you're going to spend the money so that way in your stash, when you go back to base or you have the courier get it for you, uh, which here's Mr. Courier sitting at the base, he can very happily grab all your stuff and bring it out to you. That's it. All done. And that money is gone. I don't have that money right now. So if I run up here and get killed, because if you die, you lose money, it's not going to matter even the tiniest little bit. You are not going to have to worry at all. So let's go see what some of my skills do, just for the heck of it. I don't even know. I should have read into this character a little bit before I did this, but anyway... Now, also, something to watch out for, you do not want your courier to run into the enemy team. If they kill it, they're all going to get a bunch of gold, and you're not going to be able to use it for three minutes. So, be very careful with where your courier runs to. I should not have had him running through the jungle, he should have been just in the lane. Now, <clears throat> as far as your items go, you can customize every single key in this game, pretty much. Uh, the way that you're going to do that, if you had, if you haven't done it outside of the game, actually you do it outside of the game like this too, you're going to go up here and this little cog in the top left corner is going to bring all of your options up. Now, if, um, let's see here. Now, you can go ahead and get your items set up how exactly how you want them on whatever keys you want them to be on. Do not feed do not go up there and die if we're up here standing up here with these two guys and we're like hey you know i just don't feel safe for some reason i feel like something bad might happen unless you have a good way to get out of there just leave don't worry about it you're and you're gonna be just starting out it's gonna be a low level game if you miss out on some last hits it's not gonna matter no oh, i missed that one uh but it's not gonna matter at all just go ahead and back off if you don't feel safe, then you probably aren't. And that's a huge, huge, huge deal. So do whatever you can to not feed. If uh, you want to avoid running through the river, if you don't have wards, so you can see what's going on there. Uh, for the most part, what's really easy is just playing a support champion. Because if you play a support champion... Oh my gosh, I'm missing every last hit. Uh, but if you're playing a support champion, which I really shouldn't be last hitting... I should just be standing here and then trying to scare these guys off, but they're both ranged, so it would be a little difficult anyway. But, um, a support champion, you're basically going to be there to make sure that your partner in lane doesn't die. And he gets all the last hits possible. You're going to want to scare off the other team as much as you can. And then he gets to get all the last hits, and he's going to get very strong very quickly. Do not feed the other team. If you feel like you might die... And there's a teammate that needs help and you don't have any mana? Leave. It doesn't matter. Just leave. If you think you can get away, just go. Because if that teammate's going to die, you can't change that. There's going to be nothing you can do about it. So, bail. Get out of there. Don't worry about it. And if you're not feeding them kills, then you're going to be in a good place. The less kills they get, the weaker they're going to be. Okay, that is going to be my first lesson in Dota 2 for you guys. It's uh, it's very small, it's very simple, and we're going to learn this together. And we are going to try to pull ourselves up from newbie suck status into halfway passable player that could be mistaken for knowing what they're doing. So thank you guys very much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.